Hi guys, Ziv from Elemental here. Today I'll show you how to use the new Discord Webhook URL feature in the form widget. With this feature you can send submitted form data to predetermined text channels on Discord via a unique Webhook URL. These actions will be performed after a visitor submits the form and is a great way to organize form data in a smart way. So let's dive in and see how it works. First off, in the Content tab, go to the Actions After Submit drop-down and click on the Add Action field. Now, scroll down and on the bottom you'll see Discord. As you can see, clicking on it adds a new Discord drop-down. Let's go through its settings and see how it works. In the Webhook URL field, you enter the Discord Webhook URL that will receive the forms of submitted data. Let's click on the Instructions link to see how we get it. You can refer back to this if you get stuck along the way. In order to set it up, you need a Discord account. So go ahead and log into yours. Now go to your channel settings and select Create Webhook. You can set the Webhook name and assign it to a channel. You can upload an image to set it as your Webhook icon as well. Now down below you'll see the Webhook URL we were looking for. Go ahead and copy it, just don't forget to save your settings. Now go back to Elementor and paste it in the Webhook URL field in the Discord drop-down. Now we are ready to tweak it a bit more. Let's go over the options one by one. In the Username field, we can choose the username that will be shown as the sender. And in the Avatar URL field, we can add an online image link which will appear to the left of the username. You can add the title and description in these fields which sets the title and description of each message. The form data refers to the fields your visitor will fill in on the form. You can toggle it on and off here. The same goes for the timestamp. These two options are set to yes by default. Over here, you can set the custom color for the vertical line that appears to the left of the message. Let's update the page and see it in action. First, let's fill in the form and hit the submit button. Now, head over to Discord and check out the message. The form submission data was sent correctly. Cool! Well, that's it. Now you know how to use the Discord Webhook integration to automatically send submitted form data to Discord. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos and tutorials. See you later!